So I wanted to make a video tonight to talk about Tailwind CSS and how to add it to a Gatsby site. So if you're not familiar with Tailwind, one of the things that's really nice about uh, Tailwind CSS is it's a CSS framework that you can very, very easily add into other uh, frameworks like Next.js. Uh, tonight, as an example, I'm going to use Gatsby JS. So one of the reasons why uh, Tailwind CSS has become very popular the last couple of years is that it makes it very easy to have fine-tuned control over your layouts and your components uh, when you're building web pages. And there's other frameworks out there that make it very easy to lay out uh, web pages. Um, but the nice thing about Tailwind is that you can just add these little classes to add the specific functionality or the specific uh, features that you need in your CSS without having to write out all of the uh, CSS styles by hand. So what I want to go ahead and do is uh, show you a quick example of how you can add this to a brand new uh, Gatsby site. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So I'm just come over here. I have a projects folder and I'm going to create a new Gatsby site. So I'm just come over here say Gatsby new. I have the Gatsby CLI pre-installed and I also have Node pre-installed. Those are the prerequisites to be able to do this, but everything else we're going to install tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new. It's coming up. It's going to ask me why I want to name my Gatsby site. I'm going to call this Tailwind. And it's asking me uh, if I want to use a CMS. Uh, I'm not going to be using a CMS, so I'll just say no. Uh, it's asking me what type of CSS framework I want to add. For this project, we're going to be adding in, so I'm just going to say uh, no, we'll add it later. Uh, I'm not going to install any plugins. And uh, with this, we should go ahead and be able to install this. So it's going ahead, it's creating a brand new Gatsby site, it's installing all the prerequisites and stuff that we need in there. Uh, and so once that's done, uh, there's a couple of things we need to do to this site in order for it to uh, be able to start using Tailwind. And so the way this is going to work with Gatsby is that we're going to install all of the Tailwind specific modules, but there's also one specifically set up for, uh, for Gatsby. And so we'll be showing how to configure all that stuff. It's actually relatively simple and it can be done with just a couple of commands. So while that's finishing up here, uh, let me go ahead and pull up a sheet here. All right. All right, so now that's done. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go into that site. So I'm gonna say CD Tailwind. Now I'm in the Tailwind site and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up inside of Visual Studio Code. All right. So we're in Visual Studio Code. Uh, I have a source folder, and inside that source folder, I have a pages folder, and here is my home page. And we can see there's already stuff that's uh, when you create, even when you create a new Gatsby site, it, it when it goes ahead and it creates a, a bunch of stuff in there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just so we can see what this looks like, is I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to run the develop script. And once it does that. I am going to open up a new browser window. Let's use Chrome to do that. And it's almost done running the, the build. And so I'm going to go ahead and come over here and try to load this up. All right, so here's our Here's our Gatsby site, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to clean some of this up. So let's come over here. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit, and I'm going to remove everything inside of this uh, inside of this main tag. Hit save, and now we have a blank page. And I'm just going to add in a H1 tag in here so we can see what this looks like right now. And I'm going to say Hello, Tailwind. And there we go. We can see that that library loaded. Now what I want to go ahead and do 
is I want to add in the specific uh, modules that I need in order to be able to uh, add this to my Gatsby site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in npm i for install, and then I'm going to make sure these are be dev dependencies. So I'm going to say dash d. I'm going to add in Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, Auto Prefixer, there we go, Auto Prefixer, and the Gatsby plugin for Post CSS. So we'll go ahead and run that. It's going to install those modules. All right, now we have all those modules installed. Now that we have those modules installed, uh, we need to use Tailwind to actually uh, net the uh, config files that we're going to use for this project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in npx Tailwind CSS init dash p. And what this is going to do is this is going to create a config file for Tailwind as well as for uh, post uh, CSS. So we'll go ahead and run that and we can see that it's already configured that. So now if I come back here into Visual Studio, we can see that there is a post CSS config file and there's also one here for, for Tailwind. So now that we've done that, uh, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to configure the Gatsby config.css file to use the plugin that we just added uh, for post CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the Gatsby config file and then under plugins here, I'm just going to paste this in. This is the Gatsby plugin for post CSS. We'll go ahead and add that. And now that we've added that, the next thing we need to do is go into our Tailwind config. And the Tailwind config, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a place for it to look for the content that it's going to need to scan. And the reason for this is because one of the things that uh, post CSS and uh, Tailwind does is it looks through your structure of code, specifically at the classes from Tailwind that you're using. And it's going to build out a, uh, a CSS file that you can use inside of your project that just has the styles you need. And so rather than uh, bundle up a uh, like a massive style sheet that's a megabyte in size, it only uh, sends the ones you need. So essentially what it's doing is it's cherry picking, looking through your code to make sure that it's only delivering the styles that you need for your, for your project. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now what we need to do is we need to create a uh, global style sheet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here into my source. I'm going to create a new folder called styles. And in my styles folder, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call this global CSS. And now we've got our global CSS. I need to put in some... Uh, some imports in here for uh, for Tailwind. And the way you do that is you say at Tailwind, and then we're going to say base at Tailwind, and we're going to add one for the components. And we're going to do an at Tailwind for the utilities. And that's about everything that we need here inside of our uh, global CSS file. And then the last thing we need to do here is we need to create a Gatsby browser file. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell us that we want to include this global style sheet for our site. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a Gatsby browser.js file. And inside of there, I am going to import our styles of global CSS. So now it's pointing to that global CSS file. And that should be everything that we need in order to be able to get, uh, uh, to get this running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into our index here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit develop here. And this should load up 
all of our, uh, our changes for post CSS and for Tailwind CSS. It's building our bundle. And while that's doing that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a class to this. I'm not going to put anything in here yet so we can see what this looks like. All right. And I think that loaded. Let's go ahead and reload that. Okay. So you can see right there, it's kind of reset a bunch of things. And so we can go ahead and start using our, our tailwind at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, for this uh, H1, I want to use a much larger uh, font here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to type in text dash 2XL. And we can see it just blew that up uh, to a much larger size. If I want to, I can come over here and I can say 7XL, and that makes it much bigger. So very quickly, we're able to add uh, a lot of things in here uh, that were a lot faster. So now I'll just kind of show you the power of some of the things you can do here with, uh, with Tailwind. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add in a div tag. And inside the div tag, I'm gonna create a button and we're going to give it a class. And we'll say, press me. And if we look at this right now, it's not all that spectacular. Uh, in fact, we can see it right now, but it doesn't look like anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little, uh, a little, uh, little magic here. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to type in BG green 500. And we can see we just made the background green at a color of 500. Now what I want to do is I want to make the, the text white. So it's already starting to look a little bit better. Uh, probably want to add a little uh, padding. So I'm going to add uh, a padding to the, uh, to the sides, four. And then to the top and bottom, uh, I'm going to use a Y for that. There we go. So now I've got a little space in there. It looks a little bit better. Um, and I want to go ahead and add rounded colors. So we'll say rounded. And that looks a lot better. All right. So that's essentially how easy it is to uh, add a Tailwind to a, uh, to a Gatsby site. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. With that, have a nice evening.